everyone, today I am excited, but it's like bittersweet because this is going to be my final gemstone series look. I am going to do another series soon, but I'm just going to have a little break for like a month or so because I've got so many other videos I want to film, like full face of drugstore first impressions, full face of products I dislike, full face of luxury brand makeup. You know, like I want to do some really fun, just like random tutorials that aren't really themed. Do some just classic YouTube, you know, smoky eyes and just some boring makeup as well as some interesting stuff with new releases and, you know, reviews and all sorts of stuff. I just want to do some of that and then I'll start with my next kind of creative series because I've done so many crazy makeup looks in the past couple of months I suppose. I just want to do some wearable stuff and just mix it up a little bit and yeah lots of reviews like lots of first impressions and full face of like stuff I've never tried etc etc because you guys always seem to like them. Also in the works I have some stuff from Wish arriving. Um, I'm doing an order on Sephora later to do like heaps of low rated stuff so it's gonna be really exciting. Um, I haven't finalized my next series so if you do want to suggest something feel free to leave it down below I have an idea of what I want to do but I want to hear what you guys want to see as well as you can see today I already have my base on because I just wanted to make this video a little bit shorter probably still will be super long that's fine and if you couldn't tell from the earrings today I am doing something blue inspired because I was looking through the playlist and I haven't really done anything deep blue I did turquoise I'll link my uh, gemstone series playlist down below if you want to watch it. Yeah, I did turquoise. I did like a green emerald I did heaps of stuff like that, but nothing it just blue and then perfect timing this arrived the KKW Mario collection There's a beautiful blue eyeshadow in here, which is like perfect So I'm going to try this out because I've heard amazing things about this eyeshadow palette from Nikki tutorials, so I really want to try it for myself. I have high expectations. I've got my coffee here and yeah we're gonna dive in. By the way, oh actually under my eyes, I just wanted to put some of this on too. I was meant to do this off camera, but I forgot. I've been really liking this stuff. I hate how it's hard to open. Really bothers me. Like it hasn't gotten easier. I mentioned it in my first impression. I'll link it down below, but uh, yeah. I didn't really think much of it. I thought, oh, it's probably just like the first time I'm opening it. It's a little bit stiff. It's not gotten better, guys. It's really hard to open, but um, yeah. I just realized I'm doing KKW like pretty back to back. Sorry about that. Not on purpose. <laughs> I guess she's on a roll releasing stuff lately. So I'm just using a small face brush. I am actually loving this stuff. Um, on my eye area at the moment, I've got on the ColourPop concealer and the Kat Von D under eye setting powder. I've actually put my KKW baking powder in my donate pile. I tried it and it went so cakey one day with a different concealer. And I was just like, nah, nah, I can't bother with that. I do like the concealer though. The KKW Beauty Concealers, I still like them. I just don't know if it's worth it for the money, you know? The stuff I love because it's like quite unique. It reminds me of my Bare Minerals Well Rested, except not as cakey looking and it's more customizable. But yeah, long story short, if my under eye area looks cakey right under here, I had a bad time with a different setting powder and my eyes this morning. And anyway, I fixed it. I took it off, redid it with my Kat Von D, but it still is a little bit like chunky monkey because I just used a wipe and didn't really remove it properly. Anyway, we should probably get started with the makeup. So I screenshotted some pictures of my inspo to show you first. So we have the Australian blue sapphire. You guys have probably seen a blue sapphire. Here's some geodes. Here is how it looks kind of cut I guess in like a ring. So it's basically just a really vivid bright deep kind of blue and I'm gonna do something hopefully really pretty today because I don't know if you guys remember see this video is gonna be long back in the day when I first had my YouTube channel if you guys used to watch my get rid of me clubbing videos I watch them back now and I'm like Ugh. but yeah I used to always do a blue smoky eye to go clubbing which is interesting but I used to love 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 dark blue smoky eyes and I can't remember the brand I think it was like Chanel or I bought this like high-end palette and it had um, a blue eyeshadow in it and it was my favorite thing ever. I'd have to like go back and find what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll link the video down below. Like if you guys want to see a throwback. Ugh, cringe. Where is my lid primer? I can't actually find any of my eyelid primers which is really weird. I swear someone's just coming into my room and just like stealing one thing at a time and it's like confusing the heck out of me because I seriously like lose stuff every day and I genuinely don't know where it goes. Like I was looking at this post about the Milani 2-in-1 foundation which I really liked. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the one I really liked. I get so confused because I try so many different foundations but I was like where did my one go? 
And then my Givenchy Healthy Glow Powders, like they vanished. I'm like, do I just leave shit like at hotels and stuff? Where have I lost it? Or is someone coming in here and stealing it? I doubt they're stealing it, but still, it's just my little conspiracy theory. <laughs> okay, I found one, but first I'm just gonna put on some Revital Lash. Um, so we've been talking for like five minutes already and I've literally put on lip balm. So this video is going really well. I'm just going to apply some of my Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer base situation, whatever you want to call it. I love this one. It's so good. I'm surprised I haven't run out yet actually because I use it to death. Um, hopefully the lighting's okay today. I do notice there's quite a lot of clouds, but you know what? It's just, it's just what happens in my videos these days, so... Hopefully you guys still enjoy my videos. <laughs> my vlogs are still going really well. So if you guys haven't seen my vlogs before, I'll put my channel down below. It's in every video, but um, I've been doing loads of vlogs lately and doing some like behind the scenes at Exo Beauty and stuff. So I'll link that one down below. Yeah, my skin's like all cakey at the moment because of me removing my concealer earlier. Ugh, I had such a disaster. But I'm just gonna take the Mario KKW Beauty palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this shade here just to set the primer and even it out a little bit because it's looking a bit chunky monkey. I really like the feeling of this palette. It feels very sturdy. Like it feels really hard and just like not flimsy or anything like that if that makes sense. It feels like good quality packaging. And the pan sizes are quite nice and big. Ooh, that's so pigmented. Not like you guys can probably see because um, it's like a nude colour but it is... So let's just set the primer down and I'm also kind of brushing it right in beside my nose just to brighten the area. It's a very brightening color. It's that kind of boring color in a palette but also necessary. I mean not necessarily necessary. <laughs> you could just leave it out but it's also like I always find these colors handy because they're good for the brow bone highlight or just to set down your base so you've got a nice even kind of canvas I guess for the rest of your makeup. Um, I'm going to take a mixture of, no, I'm just gonna take this color first, right here. This is Vegas, and I'm using a blender brush. I've just taken a really small amount because I was like unsure how pigmented it was gonna be. Super easy to blend. This is just your nice everyday kind of like brow bone, I mean not brow bone, <laughs> maybe not for your brow bone, um, crease color. I've no idea what look I'm doing today. Like I said, I wanna do something just like nice and smoky or simple. I just really wanted to try out this palette in what bit of time, like look at that blue. It's perfect for this look. And I'm not even like, I didn't plan this. I literally said on Twitter the other day, I wanted to do a blue look for my final gemstone. So it just worked out so well that this came out and like arrived in time. Cause otherwise I was just gonna use something I already had, but I love trying new products and I was so excited to try this. So here we are. Do you guys reckon Kylie got pissed off when Kim released her makeup? Or do you reckon that we're like happy for each other? <laughs> I always like, I don't know why I always wonder that. I love Kylie's makeup too. Well, like not everything, but I love a lot of her stuff. I haven't tried her concealers yet, actually. I need to try hers too. She's got concealers, right? I'm sure she does. Oh, I'm so like, there's just so much new stuff all the time that I just can't even remember. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but this color's really nice and easy to blend. I'm just building it up. So I want quite a dramatic crease for the blue to blend into. This is like really easy to blend. I like that color too, but again, it's just very basic. I hope they release another palette in this formula because so far, I mean, I've only tried two shades, but we'll see how the blue goes because that's a shimmer. Anyway, hopefully they do more palettes of all the eyeshadows are like this. Do some more colors, do some purples or green or something interesting. How funny was all that tart drama where they did that, um, April Fool's prank. They were like, look at this palette we're releasing and it was like blue and green or something. And everyone was actually excited for it. And then they were like, just April Fool's, like just joking. And everyone's like, well, you should actually do it because it's better than your other palettes. I kind of laughed. I never actually noticed that until it was pointed out, you know, I was like quite impressed with like a lot of the Tarte eyeshadow palettes. But then when I actually thought about it, I was like, yeah, they don't really like branch out much. Like it's always just the same colors. <laughs> I saw that palette too. I was like, that is so pretty. I want it. And then they were like, just joking. I wonder if they'll actually bring it out now. I hope they do because obviously there's a market for it. You know what I mean? Like they should see that now. Like there are enough neutrals out there. I mean, I would love to create my own neutrals palette one day. But at the same time, there's enough neutrals out there, let's be honest. I'm actually going to search that Mitchell. That Mitchell. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Um, he is just so inspiring. I actually want to just look at his technique and maybe like, I don't know, like be inspired. Look at like how amazing that eyeshadow is. It's just like so glam. It's not even funny. It gives me like Brett Stoll's vibes. I'm going to take a, another color from a different palette just because I want to do almost like a really dark blue in the crease and then use the Kim K color like on my actual lid. And I'm thinking like this shade just here. 
because when you look at the gemstone, you know, they've always got that dark dimension and I want to create that kind of dimension of the deeper points. Let's go in with this shape just here and I'm just going to take on the same brush and then I might kind of like conceal out a little bit. So I'm just buffing that in it to the color we used before and I'm actually going to add some more of the color we used before in the crease just to like make sure it's nice and like has a nice gradient I guess. I don't even know what half the words are that come out of my mouth sometimes. I like watch it back and I'm like, what am I even trying to say? And I say like way too much, but I mean, that's just habit. People get really annoyed and I'm like, ugh, I can't even help it anymore. Like it's just wired into my brain. So here's the brown again and I've still got some blue on my brush. So it's looking a little bit crazy at the moment, but we're going to clean it up a bit soon. I'm just going to first do some outer corner work before I do the Kim K color. So I'm going to take some of this navel color. I think this is by MAC. This is so old. I hope it still performs okay. It's probably actually like expired or something. And I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner, kind of bringing it through the crease a little bit and we'll blend that in soon. I don't really have the like dark blue shade that I really want. I've looked through all my single eyeshadows and stuff. I really wanted a blue that was like just almost black. See that color there? I've kind of blended with a little bit of that brown from the KKW palette just to warm it up a little bit. I'm just using a firm blender brush with a little bit more of that blue. And I'm just kind of making sure that's blended into the other blue in the crease. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. And I'm okay if it goes a little bit down. Oh, here we go. That's dark. Um, I'm okay if it goes on the lower lash line a little bit because we're going to put blue there too later. I'm also going to tidy up this area because I blended a bit too high. So I'll show you how I do that soon. The firm blender brush is really good just to kind of deposit color when you want to really strengthen up the crease a bit rather than diffusing the color like the other brush I was just using, which was just the blender brush. This one kind of adds more. And I'm actually going to use some of the airbrush concealer by Benefit. This is shade two. Probably should use shade one, but whatever. I'm just pressing that just to create a bit of a kind of cut effect. And then I'm going to use this eyeshadow brush. This is the Marble Collection one and the KKW color. I'm excited for this. Let's see how the shimmers perform now. There's a little bit of like powderiness in the pan. So hopefully I don't get fallout, but we're soon gonna find out. Oh my God, that color is so stunning. It matches my earrings so perfect. I'm gonna put that all the way into the inner corner. It's so pretty. And then when I come to that edge, I'm just kind of patting it over the line so it blends with that outer corner color. That color is incredible. I'm not gonna lie. That shimmer is so beautiful. So that's how the top lid is looking. We're gonna make it look better. Just bear with me. Okay, next up I'm taking Chaos Eyeliner by Urban Decay. And I'm putting that in the waterline. And I'm kind of like doing it messy so I can smudge it out a bit. I'm going to take my pencil brush that I used earlier, but with the KKW um, shade, the blue, because I want it to be shimmery, because, you know, gemstones are glittery. They're shiny. <laughs> I'm using a pencil brush so I can get quite like a strong line rather than a really diffused line, what I would get with a blender brush. So it's just going to be a little bit sharper because I want it to be quite like zing, you know? <laughs> I don't know what zing means, but that's what I'm going for. And then just to tidy up the brow bone, I'm going to just go back in with that matte shade and just apply that to the brow bone. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So from the colors I've tried from the palette, I'm impressed. Like more impressed than I thought I would be. And I don't know why. Um, I don't even know what I'd compare these to. Maybe like ABH or something like that kind of quality. I'm actually going to go in with just real quick my Shenixo palette just to warm up this eye look a little bit more. I'm going to use the shade Buttercup, which I know looks crazy. I'm just taking a little bit of this on a tulip crease brush and I'm just going to run it over the edges just to blend the um, brow bone color with the blue. Does not help right now that I really need to pluck my eyebrows. There's like all these little hairs <laughs> and it's making it look worse. Actually, you know what? Let's go in. <laughs> I don't know why I want to do this, but I'm going to try this color on the brow bone as well. Hopefully it's not extra, but let's see. That color is pretty. It's not as shimmery as I thought it would be. It's quite a nice brow bone highlight. It's not too crazy looking. This is the color I'm most disappointed in. I don't know, I feel like I really have to build it up to get the shimmer, which could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the look you're going for, but I don't know. I am just comparing it to the blue. If I look a little bit cakey right in here, it's because it is, because there was like fallout that just got really stuck to the spot. Maybe I didn't powder it properly. 
and it just went blue. <laughs> it's like not good. I don't know if you can see just across there, but we're just going to move on. Okay, so that's the eyeshadow done. I might use something on the inner corner though. Hold on. I'm going to use the Chi Chi Call Me shade, which is just like a kind of champagne kind of color just to really brighten up. I was going to use glitter today, but I've used glitter in the last couple of it gemstone looks, so I might just settle for this and just do it quite uh, bright, I guess. Like, put it on quite heavy. And then I'm going to reuse some lashes today. Um, maybe just the fantasy ones, because they're right in front of me. And I don't think I'm going to do eyeliner. I just really like the way this is looking uh, by itself, so I'm going to use some clear glue and then just put them as close as I can to the lash line. So I just use some Roller Lash Mascara. This lash I like completely screwed up. I don't know if you can see it's like sitting really weird, but it's stuck now and we're just going to deal with it. To contour today, I'm going to use my NYX contour kit. I'm going to use my um, domed contour brush and try to give myself some cheekbones. The lighting stain I got orange, I promise that's not orange. For blush, I'm just going to use this one because it's actually right next to me. This is by 3 Concept Eyes and it's called BB Pink. It's a very light flush. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that on. And then for highlighter, I might just use this Aurora because again it's right next to me. Um, by EXO Beauty and I'm going to wet my brush to make it super intense. As you guys may have noticed, I'm into the intense glue lately for some reason. And this one just isn't shimmery, it's just glowy, if that makes any sense, who knows. Okay, so now for the lips, I'm first going to line my lips. So I saw on Mario's Instagram, he was talking about how you can adapt the lip color for any skin tone just by using a deeper lip pencil. I'm just gonna use this one. I don't think I really need to darken it up because I am fair, but I just wanna use like a darker outer edge, I guess, just to give it some depth because I don't want to be like super nude. This one here is Mari by Exo Beauty. They are out now, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw my lip swatch video. I'll link it down below. I just love this color. I forgot to say about the packaging of the palette. I like the color. Um, the lipstick, I'm a bit like, it looks a bit tacky. Like it feels quite like, you know. This is the shade Classic K and it's just a beige kind of nude I would say. Um, so let's try it out. Yeah, I don't know. It's not like necessarily ugly, it just doesn't feel, the, I don't know. Oh, it's very pigmented and incredibly creamy. You can see my lips are dry AF right now. Works quite well with this lip pencil. It's got that kind of plasticky taste and it doesn't really have a scent. But the actual formula itself is very creamy and smooth. It's quite thick though, like when you put on a layer, like it's definitely, like you can feel it. And then there's two lip glosses, which the packaging's like that kind of gray color, like the palette. I'll try both of them. Why not? So we've got Juicy, which is more pink. And then we have Super Nude, which is a Super Nude color. So I'll put a little bit of Super Nude on that middle. It smells like slightly sweet, but it's very like barely noticeable to me. I don't know. It's not sticky. But again, you can kind of feel it. It's like, well, it's not really super thick. It's quite smooth, actually. I think it was just because I hadn't had it blended out. And then we've got Juicy. Ooh, I like that color better. I'm glad they're not sticky, though. They feel smooth. Again, these kind of taste... Do you know what I mean? Like, some lip products, for some reason, like, you put them on and you can just taste this, like, plasticky... I don't know. I, I guess I shouldn't be eating it. But it's not even like I'm eating it. It's just... I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. Have you guys ever had that? Like, do you know what I mean or nah? I don't know. But the actual colors, I definitely prefer the pink one. The nude one, I'm not, like, super fussed over. The actual lip color is really pretty. I like the formula. I don't think they're, like... 10 out of 10. I don't think they're bad, um, but I love the eyeshadow palette the best. That's my favorite. Kind of getting like, you know, when the lip gloss just sticks and it like creates little like piles on your lips. I don't know. Maybe I just put on too much. Maybe. But overall the lipstick does look really pretty. It just feels quite like heavy, I guess. It's not like a lightweight formula. So that is the completed look. I'm going to spray some All Nighter by Urban Decay. And this is the finished look. Let me zoom you in quickly. So here it is up close. I love that blue. It's so stunning and I'm obsessed with the eyeliner as well. I feel like it's so pretty. I really like the Urban Decay eyeliners. They're probably my favorite. And then I really like the lashes with this look. Just like nice and fluffy. Um, the lip color, it's just like, <sighs> it's so gross. <gasps> yeah, maybe I just put on way too much. Who knows? I might just like blot it. 
that feels so much better but now I've got fluff on my lip I feel like that looks nicer too it's not as like full-on so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really helps especially with these crappy youtube algorithms you guys have already heard it all um yeah really appreciate it once again i will list my gemstone series down below for you so you can see all of the looks and i'll also link below my cocktail series which was my prior series to that um if you haven't seen it yet feel free to check it out hopefully you guys liked it i had so much fun creating these looks for you and thank you to all of you for your input and suggestions on what looks i should do I thought it was really fun and interactive, so I'm excited for the next series. And yeah, quite impressed with this, not gonna lie. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!